Lorena. Today I will be doing another DIY video for you guys. So before we're going to start, I will be showing you guys what materials we'll be using in this DIY video that I'm going to make. Uh, it is a pot with balloons and flowers. I have a friend that's celebrating her birthday and I want to give her something that she can keep it. And this idea, it came up uh, just last night and I gathered the materials. And here are the materials. So these materials right here, these are all the materials that I have in here. I have in here in my uh, stash that I haven't used them yet. But only one thing that I bought is, I'll show you now. So in this DIY, the only thing that I bought is this wooden pot or wooden base, flower base. So it looks very gardeny kind of materials so yeah that's so that's what it looks inside of this pot i decided to create this diy because my friend loved to do a gardening she loves planting and stuff so to suit her personality i i want to give her something that looks uh gardeny and uh, that looks like uh you can put it somewhere outside in the garden and stuff but it's for her birthday it's either she can put it inside the house or outside the house so this is the first material it's a wooden pot but you can use different kind of pot it's either ceramic but i like this wooden timber kind of effect yeah that's the first material and of course because i'm going to do a flower diy flower vase flower vase flower vase we call it vase here flower vase kind of uh diy so we need uh what's this thing called this is a floral foam you can use this for uh like fresh flowers so this one right here i did the wedding before so I did the wedding decorations before, uh, mga flowers and pieces for the table and the church aisle. So uh, I have leftovers here. This is from my client. So I got four in here. This one I think available in Bunnings. And also I have different kinds of flowers here. Flowers. Uh, more flowers more flowers but i will be using only the whites here and the pink i will remove the reds later because this the uh diy is more on white and pink shade and also i have uh balloon sticks balloon sticks we're needing this one right here a madison uh, decorative stone to put on top of of the flower base we need i need balloon pump and also balloons more uh white and pink tone shapes and i have this heart balloon yeah that one and this is the happy birthday balloon so that's that so i have this flamingo we will put this later and of course, we need double-sided tape, scissors, cutting tools for the wires, knife, chopping board. Yeah, I already mentioned double-sided tape. So alright guys, so now let's get started with this flower vase with balloons. My head is a bit cut off because we need to see what's going on on this table huh? and my friend can remove all this if she don't like artificial flowers yeah she can use this pot for the real plants you can use either uh, mga, uh, spices or you know flowers that kind of stuff but I don't have any idea all those plants because I'm not a gardener. Yeah. So first off, we need to grab the styrofoam, the wet floral foam. 
we need to cut this one out thank you lisa for this leftover of your styrofoam <laughs> yeah she left it so that's that because of the styrofoam is a bit big see we need to cut some of this one because we need the styrofoam to sit down there so okay we just need to like slice it like that so that what it looks like whoa perfect see that's what it looks like right now this is what it looks like so far measure it so where to cut okay I put a mark there so that's where we're going to cut my nails is very helpful in this DIY mm -hmm. this looks like me and then push this one in it doesn't matter if it's a bit tight the foam will um will squash down anyway there perfect so that's what i want with the foam so before you assembling the flower vase i think you need to assemble the balloon first so in this happy birthday balloon i only need one this is what the balloons looks like i have a pump here balloon pump that i got it from Kmart for two dollars so we'll inflate this happy birthday one balloons right here they're smaller size that's what right there so also this one is a self-sealed balloon so let's pump it <laughs> okay that's the first one I got two things. We only needing whites on this one, but chop the reds. I have tulips here and this one pinks. I have pinks here and remove the whites on this one. Is the top bits but I can recut this one later on the top bits we'll see don't cut it yet cut it later and now let's stick our flower in put on uh, green leaves that one these two hearts on the side insert this one here on the middle insert it here so cut a little bit insert let's turn around there Yeah. And you take and then more whites. 
until Mother's Day so I think this one is a bed of flowers with balloons yeah insert the tulips like that slung white things like that okay. and now I have green leaves here we can insert it anywhere so that there is like leaves going on on this side as well oops Let's insert a green leaves somewhere yeah. and i have a uh, pink let's cut this one also using a pliers ah let's put aside got this from ebay My mom in law loves gardening too. She loves flowers, especially roses. That's her favorite. So every Mother's Day, we always give her a gift card for her flower shopping. Yeah. So you just uh, insert this anywhere to have this pink going on. What I did before is all white so that you know where to stick or insert this pink, little pink one to fill in the gaps. Yeah, that's what it looks like here. On the side right here, put on the front, uh, we have something pink going on there. Not looking great yet, but we're nearly there. And I have more green. Insert it in the middle. I have one more here. Put it here. And I have this different design. Put it on this. Wow, Flora will just add this one more to so make even out the design here or well, probably here. Yon. Yay, that's so pretty. And then, guys, I will put these decorative stones. Just pour it there to cover the and then give it a good shake. That's what it looks like there. And then guys, I have a flamingo here. I will cut one and put it in here. Stick it there. This is a birthday banner. But I just need one. The flamingo there. Get a double-sided tape. And then put it here on the center of the flamingo stick it peel off the backing and stick it here all right uh -huh -huh. that's so cute okay i'm done 